The geographic scope is really important for a TIA or a TIS looking at how far away from the development will be impacted and what should be included in that study of looking at how significant the impacts will be and what mitigation is needed. And of course, this varies by jurisdiction. And a lot of times there's some back and forth between the developer and their consultant and the public agency transportation that is going to be responsible for evaluating the development plans and agreeing to the mitigation measures that are recommended. So we'll take a look at some of the policies or guidelines from public agencies and then a few examples of actual TIAs and how that study area, what that study area may look like for those developments. So here's an example from a city where the scope is focused on one and a half mile radius from the project site. So this is a, a pretty specific distance away from the project site that needs to be included. Any intersection and roadways within those within that radius should be analyzed and evaluated as part of the TIA process. Here's another one. This is a state perspective, and this is, has a little bit more general terminology in it. Where we're looking at traffic impacts to local streets and roads that can inter impact intersections with state highway facilities. And so this is consideration of how does that how is that proposed development going to impact that state highway system, and looking at potentially adjacent local facilities, both upstream and downstream of those intersections, driveways, interchanges with the state highway. This is another statewide perspective, and this says all roadways in the vicinity of the development shall be included as part of the TIS analysis. And really this is kind of emphasizing that, that negotiation that needs to happen between the developer and the public agency and looking at that impact and what where the impacts may occur. And if there's a coordinated traffic signal system, then considering and looking at that entire traffic signal system. So uh, this is a little less clear and less specific than having a specific distance away from the project that should be included, but it's really focusing on where are those impacts likely to happen and studying and evaluating those. So here's a specific TIA. This is a project that is proposing to construct multifamily housing, mid-rise multifamily housing, which is ends up being 79 townhomes for this project. We can see the project site in green here. And ultimately what's included in this TIA are three intersections that are included that are nearby that will be impacted by this development. Here's another example. It's a larger development, several different types of land uses. We can see here uh, some with some pretty substantial intensity looking at the square footage and the number of, of dwelling units there. They specifically call out the uh, intersections that are going to be included in the study. And we can see here on the site map, here's our location, here's our site. So of course, internal intersections are going to be included as part of this. And then there's a, a nearby intersection and then a series of signalized intersections that are going to be included in this evaluation as well. So this is looking at a larger scope. It's a larger development and likely to have impacts outside of its immediate vicinity. Also specifically does call out that there is an intersection here in purple that is explicitly not included in the study area. And another one here, this is a fast food restaurant uh, without a drive through window. And we see our project site in uh, in this area and then the associated intersections that are specifically going to be studied are shown here in yellow. So this is the the geographic scope for this particular TIA and an important thing when you're looking at a traffic impact analysis, traffic impact study, what is that geographic scope? Are all the relevant intersections that that will possibly be impacted are they included? in the evaluation.